What's up YouTube, Kyron back up in here with another video and today I'm going to be doing a little intro before the intro that I shot already for this video. It's gonna be a different style from my normal videos. I'm gonna be revisiting a video that I did in the past with my girlfriend, Megan. We're going to be vintage shopping today. I love this style of video. I find more people should do it on the internet. It just takes a lot more energy and it's kind of hard to film the shopping process if that makes sense, especially when you're in an environment with other people that are shopping. I feel kind of uncomfortable putting a camera in people's faces and other things like that. So we did the best we could. Megs and I were able to capture all that we could while shopping kind of took the elements from that first video and translated it in a more modern sense. Her style has developed a whole lot since that video and so has mine. And we're gonna be kind of showing a bit of where our head is at when selecting certain vintage pieces right now. And this is all thanks to the people over at Palmo Goods. They are by far one of my favorite vintage shops in Montreal. Everyone always asks me for a list of shops to shop at when they come to Montreal. I do have a list, but it's kind of over overwhelming to send over all that information because it's like very selective and I don't really know what people want. All that out of the way, when people ask me for vintage shops, I had a lot of options before, but honestly, if you have to visit only one place, this is the place you should visit because it's the best curated selection. I personally find they have a range for everyone. They obviously specialize in a bit more of like Americana style, Western and other things of that nature. But as far as basis goes, when it comes to like carpenter pants, vintage leaves, Levi's, other things of that nature, graphic tees, vintage tees, essentials like sweaters and hoodies and everything like that. They got you covered on all angles. And I just have the best chemistry with them. Like they're just really nice. They always take care of Megs and I all the time. And we just get along. Like the staff is super nice. Everyone is just great over there and they're really gracious to let us film and it's just a great environment and overall they've grown so much since the last time we shot that video before they were in a joint space now they have their own shop like they moved away from that space and they have their own whole shop which is insane it's incredible and i'm so proud of them and on top of all of that i wanted to let you guys know that i have a discount code for you guys if you guys are in montreal or if you want to shop online i believe the website should be up by the time i put this video up so if you want to check out anything they have on the website or if you're in montreal and you want to shop locally you could just tell them that you saw this video and it is kyron 15 the discount code if you want to use that in store or online i'll leave all the information on how you can apply that in the description box below and all the nitpicky stuff but yes say 15 percent it's great it'll save you a good little bit on the garments that you're trying to acquire and you guys are going to see a couple of the things that they got really great selection once again like i said and we're just going to show you some of our favorites how we go about picking vintage pieces like i said before shopping always a great time especially vintage one of my favorite things to shop in person and very important important to shop in person to make sure how it fits and everything like that i'm rambling on continue to the second intro i'm gonna see you guys on the next one cue the rest of this video hello everyone today we are going to be doing another uh vintage shopping video i'm mighty cold we're in canada's wonderland right now that's a lie we're at palmo goods it's frisky and i'm here with the beautiful <laughs> the beautiful <laughs> here She's you can't back. you can't say my Eddie, dummy name on Maggie Maggie G Playboy M. We're both equally as bad. Okay. okay. We thought we'd do a quick fit breakdown before we head in. So the ROA hiking boots. These I recently picked up at Essence. They're from I believe a Japanese brand called Tai Tai. Where's the Tai? Oh. Hey on. Yeah, something like that. But I like them because they're quilted and they kind of have the same vibe as the cost bag, the famous cost bag. Um, and then I thrifted this in Brooklyn. And yeah, that's, and then this is uh, Lisa Lestrange. Yeah, sure. Alrighty. So wait, 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 I have one more question for you. How do you feel like your shopping has changed since the last video to now mm -hmm. when it comes to vintage? Because I know you're a bit more on the like cyber core type beat. Right you know what cyber core I would say more? Yeah, it's changed. Um, but when I look at the last video we did, like that outfit that I wore is still an outfit I would have worn today. So I don't think my style's changed that much, but I shop less vintage recently for some reason. Yeah. I feel yeah. like I'm just trying to have less clothing. Mm -hmm. So it's 
it's hard to shop vintage when that's the goal. True, true. But I'm always looking, like the main things I'm looking for right now are a good staple trench coat, mm -hmm. an oversized scarf, and more like Japanese Americana staples. Yeah, I was gonna say like inside they have a good amount of like the OG 107 pants that I have. I think they look nice on you. Okay. I'm gonna do an outfit breakdown. Bottom up, we started with the Marnie, Marnie loafers. Uh, I like them, they give me a good amount of height. These are Levi's 684s. I'm kind of gatekeeping them right now because <laughs> everyone really likes my flared models, but I gotta keep them for the personal until I round up all the Pokemon, then I can feed the streets, you know what I mean? They're very so. slimming pants, I yeah, find. Yeah, they are. They're a little uncomfortable sometimes, like it's hard to sit, but it's part of the game. Are they women's pants? No, they're men's. Oh, okay. Yeah, Arcteryx. Thorium jacket or the Cerium. There's two. One of them was discontinued. This, no, like this one. The thorium. This is the Thorium, yeah. right? So the Thorium. I think they stopped the Cerium, which is a bit lighter, but this is more rigid. A little arky. And uh what hat is this? Uh Luntic. Luntic. Uh from an eyewear brand in Montreal. It looked kinda like ALD vibes. It's cool. That's about it. Alrighty. We're gonna head in. So a little Anderson What's belt. our strategy? Uh, today the strategy is to get about one outfit each. We're also obviously going to like go around the store, show you some of our favorites. Like obviously both of our styles is kind of like Japanese Americana, I would say. So we're going to show you a couple of staples from that. Also like how we shop as far as like fits and like how to shop for the perfect pair of Levi's or things of that nature, like even the OG 107s. Just kind of show you like some of the tips and tricks when shopping vintage. And then also some of our favorites and then finding one outfit. For each of us, I think it's going to be the main. Mm -hmm. So Kyra and I both like this pair of patched suede and leather pants. Yeah, they look like. But uh, I think they're in between sizes for both of us. Yeah. They look like a thirty. Yeah, yeah, and you're like, uh, like a twenty-five. And you're 32. So. I'm a 32, so that's probably not gonna so, work. They look like kind of like Comme des Garçons or something. It's cool. They're sick. Yeah, they're really, really cool. They are short as well, though. They're yeah. short like. Yeah, it's a little bit of an awkward fit. I just Those are really nice. With a, like a white that shirt. That would be really nice, yeah. We have them like the scarf, I believe. Okay. Um, I, I love a good oversized yeah. scarf. We say it on the tag. Okay. I know there are some that like, we like bought as scarves that we like. Okay. Because this one says blanket, but yeah. I could, you know, does it look too big? I mean, it's, it's pretty big, it but it's like a statement, tall. you know? Yeah, it's like. Okay. It's yeah, a statement, yeah. you know? The colors are amazing, though. No, they're really nice tones. Good fall tones. I would still wear it as a scarf. Maybe just add an elastic there. It, maybe I could find like a beige elastic. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, that's really nice. That's a good idea, actually. I, ne I never would have thought or of like that. Or like a string. Yeah. So these are some of the items that I found. These are a pair of like double knees. This Carhartt ones. I already have a pair of these, but like reworked, kind of similar to how the gallery department ones are. Mm -hmm. But um, I like these. These are cool. Just like standard straight leg. These, I'm like obsessed with five, five 517s. You could never have like enough of them, I find. So it's a good little pair. A little mid wash. They look a bit short in the leg. Yeah, they do look a little short. That's why it's like always important to like try these on, you know? Mm -hmm. and this pair, this is a pair of five, five, six ones. Five, six ones. So, really nice pair. Just like maybe a little bit too tapered at the bottom for me. Yeah. But it's always good to just like hold them out and see how they are. This is just plain white tee. It felt soft. 
oh, looked I like, like it had a good one. fit. Yeah. So definitely gonna try that on. It's amazing. It's like super soft. All the vintage white <laughs> the tees first are like. Thought, that's amazing. It's just a yeah. It's just white a white tee, tee right? Like no, it's just like you can never have a bad. You can have a bad white tee, but when you have a good one, it's one of them ones. You know, this pretty predictable. I don't know if that's predictable. Do you see the like the shape of that? I don't know. See, that's the thing. It's like, like very oh, yeah. long. And okay, like see, yeah. maybe, are... maybe I'm, maybe I'm not right with this one. But no, I don't this think is, so. I'm probably not gonna try this one. But I like the color. <laughs> this one, pen, pen that's state. Sick. It's cool, you know. Pennsylvania. I'm born in Philly, so it kind of makes sense, you know. So this is cool. This another white tee. This is a lot smaller, though, so I might give this the eggs. That's cool. Yeah. This just felt soft for me. I'm just laughing. I'm giving the most reaction to just. I know, just the plain tea. stuff. You know? I also have a few other stuff that I put aside, but like I'll show you guys that a little later. But these are just some like OG 107 pants without the like signature pocket detailing. So they're just a bit more plain. So that's why I pulled these out, even though I have a pair that fits me really nice. You can never have too many of these. So yeah. They just fit really well. They're hard to find the perfect fitting pairs of these. So like whenever you see them, like definitely buy them. And they're going up in the market right now. So they come to Palmo because they always come have to Palmo. They got they got some heat here for you guys. That's where I got my pair. So you guys can definitely find a pair here. So yeah. <laughs> we're gonna try on. We're gonna show you guys what we like best, what fits best. Yeah. Um, and then show you guys like one final outfit if we can both find something that goes really well yeah. together. Because like the main. Thing with vintage is like you have to try it on I find so like that's why it's like if you have a local vintage store it's the best to like go see them try this stuff on because even though something might say it's a certain size like through the wash process over like 40 years it could change you know yeah so yeah I'm gonna try all this on all right so I'm gonna show you a few of my favorite pieces it's mainly outerwear and like pants so this brown jacket, love the color. The quilting is amazing. It's a bit of like a length I wouldn't usually wear for jackets. I usually wear like oversized or cropped. So it's that in between, but we'll see. Then this bomber, it's been a while since I've had like a classic aviation style bomber. So maybe it's time to pick another one up. But it might be time for me to pick another one up because I feel like that's how my style is gravitating back towards. It's weird because a lot of items I like um, donated since high school, I wish I'd kept now, which is like so odd. Yeah, things go in like it's, cycles yeah, now, you it's know? Like, it's like yeah. five years ago now. Yeah. The only thing about bombers is like the zipper is usually gold and I'm like very big on only having silver hardware. Yeah. So that's difficult for me to like pair with things. This is really this cool. I really I'm surprised like. you pulled this actually. This is another thing that I would have fully worn in high school or like I had something similar. I was wearing a lot of like army jackets yeah. and camo jackets. Um, so yeah, I like this. This I just accidentally stole from some girl. <laughs> but she didn't end up taking it, so. Oh shit. I love the distressing really and we love the print. You know when that happened, I thought it was her actual sweater she took off and you took it by accident. I didn't know it was something no, in the store. It was just hanging here. Okay, 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 cool. okay. Um, so I also like how it's it goes back to a flare at yeah, the bottom. Yeah, it's kind of like bell-shaped almost. It could bit. almost be like a dress. Yeah. This I've always wanted. I don't know the specific name of these jackets. I think they're too. called liner jackets. I've always wanted one. I'm looking for the perfect one. I actually like how it's kind of shiny on top. I'm not sure how it fits though. But yeah, I've been looking for one that fits well in the body and it isn't too like long. This like just goes with the kind of collegial theme we both love, like university. Um, we were just watching like a sorority video last night, so <laughs> it's on theme. Okay, as for pants, I'm not sure if these are gonna fit, but like these, they're... these and the other pair that you pulled, I don't know where they are. They're over there. They're over there. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm so excited for those. Um, they seem a bit big in the waist, but I love the distressing and the... just like a classic car hair. Yeah. Then I love the style. Like super baggy bottoms. Mm -hmm. That's very what you're on right now. So this green pair. Yeah, nice cargo pockets. Yeah. yeah. And then the, this this graphic I just like for some reason. Reminds me of like where I grew up at the Yacht Club. Yeah. Then this is the outfit that I'm going to try on first. Like these are the items that just kind of made sense in my head to make into an outfit. Um, this is actually a blanket, but it looks good as a scarf it kind of reminds me of like the acne scarves just a little shorter mm -hmm. but i've been looking for like a massively oversized scarf so the colors are amazing it's not quite long enough to like tie it around but it would be cool like even like over your head you know like how you yeah been true yeah. yeah yeah oh yeah that's really cool <laughs> no that's the yeah i thought yeah i love it <laughs> okay 
Okay, and then, yeah, so with the scarf, I'd probably wear like a white hoodie and then this vest on top. This is like my favorite mm -hmm. upper I found. Yeah, it looks like the uh, the Jan vest that was released not too long ago. Mm -hmm. Cool. And these pants, I can't these wait to try on. These are my favorite pants. If they pants don't fit, I'll, I'll be very upset. Those are really, really cool. So funny because I feel like you've given away so many pairs that look like this. Yeah, that's the thing because it's like hard to find the perfect one, you know. And, he uh, rotates through Carhartts very quickly. Yeah, I really do. There's only like one I think I have left. The ones like that my... I won't let you sell, the gray ones. Yes, and yes. those aren't even Carhartt. I think I think those oh, are uh, right. Wrangler, but they Anyways, fall so nice on sick. the Guidis. So like, honestly, up until when I got the Guidis, I was gonna sell them, but no. I think they're nice. You love those you though, so I don't think. Okay, yeah. I'll try on the first outfit. Okay, I want to play a bit of a game. You're gonna rate each jacket. Okay. Because there's like on five 10. of them. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this one. This one is like a 7.8 to me. Okay. Yeah. Do you, like, do you know what I mean? I know what you mean. I, I, I think I know what you mean. I think I got a bit of a sticky zipper there. So, um, this one, this one to me is very could be could go very much two ways. It could go very good or very bad, you know what I mean? I find the way you're pairing it with the paisley gives it the energy that you wanted it to give it, you know? That makes sense? Yeah. It's not quite round enough in the body. I would have preferred if it was a bit shorter and a bit more wide. Yeah. Um, I find the oversized nature to it is pretty cool. Like this with the desert boots would be pretty cool. It gives like very like easy vibes. Yeah, it can give easy and then it could give... Challenge me to not say it could give. <laughs> <laughs> then it could do... <laughs> 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 or it could do, you know, you know what I mean. I don't want to say it. I really like this bomber because of how short the arms are. Yeah, the ruching on the bottom of it looks really nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. I always said though, if I get another bomber, it would be by the actual... Uh, Off Industries? Yeah. Yeah. But this one looks like it's decent quality. Like, that's yeah. the problem. It's like all the older ones were like not made the best almost. So, like, that makes sense. I mean, like... Like the 40s to the 60s were definitely amazing, but then like 70s, 80s, 90s is kind of. This one's pretty sick. Know, like, I'm checking yeah, the, the fit of this one is really nice. Wow, I really like it. Yeah, no, no, that that's definitely like a nine. Oh right, we forgot to rate the other ones. Okay, yeah. so what do you rate the camo? That's like an eight. Better than the green jacket? It's just because it's more versatile. To be fair, I like every jacket, but we have to be strict with ourselves. Yes. This is yes, a nine. This is like a, yeah, a this must. Yeah, this is amazing. For sure. I'm, I'm really vibing. I just, yeah. I wish it was silver. Cause it, Swap out it the zipper. just, oh, true. This one seems like a hard job though, because look how stitched mm. it is. It's not just kind of, anyways. You gotta find a mask to tailor, you know? So. Anyways, yeah, this is incredible. Um, one jacket left. Like I said, this isn't my typical style, but there's something about this color. Uh, a teacher at LaSalle once said the only thing you can emotionally connect to in an article of clothing is the color, which I disagree with, but I thought that was interesting that yeah. she said that. Yeah. Um, Honestly, I, I highly beg to differ with that I, statement. I highly beg to differ too, but I think she means for like a general public. Like okay. The color is what you first gravitate towards. Like huh. when you think about people who don't necessarily care about like style as much as, you know, everyone watching this yes, does. Yeah. Like, like for example, my brother, he gravitates towards a color That's more true. than like, That's oh, true. this fits a certain yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always like a pattern or a color that sticks my out My brother's too. like, what do you mean? <laughs> no, I just mean people who... <laughs> not me. Not me to... <laughs> defending myself i just mean people who don't like shop often they don't care about clothing as much i feel like they would gravitate towards a color first yeah fair so enough. i think when she said that she meant the general like mass of people yes like that's why it's so important for like h m and like yeah. those fast fashion brands to be on par with yeah, the colors yeah. okay we're forecasting okay i'm glad we did that Sorry. so <laughs> so i don't like the fit of this I, I feel like if it was wider, it would be a lot better. Because, like, this design inch. detail is cool. Like, how it's, like, it's split, but it's two different pockets. Yeah. I like that. Okay, what do you rate this one? This is, like, a 6.7. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Awesome. Oh, that's all of the jacket? Yeah. I like it. Yeah, this is really nice. The color is really cool. It's, like, a soft purple. The wash is... I like that it flips in safe. naturally, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. It makes the fit very nice. Yeah. The drop shoulder is cool too. How wearable do you think this is? Because it's extremely comfortable. I think it is pretty wearable. I could see you wearing it like on your McGill study days, you know? Yeah. yeah. I would love to know what this is before I buy it though. Alpha. <laughs> I'll, I'll look at it. <laughs> 
not that it could ev- not that a sorority could ever be bad or a fraternity but but now like you're I officially just like, like knowing your your band from the sorority because you wore it before getting in you didn't do your pledge yet my uh what's it called my rush yeah we're rush. just learning a lot about that stuff recently <laughs> what was the other word slated slated i was slated, yeah, I was slated. oh i already love it Oh, I like how there's that like thermal detail under, which is really cool. So this is sick. It's just maybe not the most wearable because it is a dress. Like, yeah, inside. yeah. But I, how do you feel? You would have to do it with like, you know, your wide white pants, like baggy on baggy. Like that's like a little too straight fit. Of yeah, pants. yeah, I agree. You know what I mean? Agreed. Um, I love the kind of silhouette. What I think is coolest is like, I don't think it was meant to be like blown out. Mm hmm. Like, I think this happened naturally because the shoulders are still quite tight. Yeah. I just don't even know how this would have happened. You know what I mean? I don't even know. Like, it, they, they uh, stretched it so much that it, like, ruches. Mm -hmm. Anyways, what do you prefer, the purple or this one? The purple, I would say. It's a bit more wearable. This is cool, but, like, you know what you'd probably have to do is, like, cut it. <laughs> but I like this, too. I know, too. I know. But, like... If that, then you would probably not wear it as often. If it was just like this, though? Yeah. Um... That's cool. Yeah, but it, like I said, with the shoulders being so tight, mm. I think it's only worth it if it's if it's the full. longer version. I think this could really work though with something. Yeah, flipped. yeah. I like the motif. Mm, yeah. Okay. I see what you mean. Yeah. It, it makes more sense. But I have a lot of gray sweaters. Yeah. So. Sure. That's why I like the purple sweater. It's so different. Mine. Okay. I like the fit of them. Are they a bit too standard though? Yeah, I don't find they're long enough. Yeah. And they're a 36 too, so this is like a good example of like... How things shrink over yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. Like they're supposed to be a 32, 36 and they fit like a 32, 32. Like I like them, but they're not wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so these are OG 107s, but without the pocket detailing like I was talking about before. They fit really nice. But the tough thing is like there's two that are pretty similar. So I don't know which out of the two is going to be the the winner but these are nice like they fall like perfectly this is the second pair of og 107s that i found um i'm trying to debate between which two are better i said i prefer the other pair because this pair is wider in the leg but like walk in these a bit honestly i think that these don't compare to the hair you have at home okay like i don't think it's worth it to get a second pair of these even the other pair are quite similar to the other one. Yeah. I don't know, it's really what you're feeling, but yeah. these, um, they're a bit too baggy. Uh, they're, too baggy. You know what it is? It's a lower crotch, mm. I think. Yeah. And I don't That's find true. it flattering with this, like, material. Okay. It looks more, like, sloppy. But the other one you like better? I like the first pair better, okay. yeah. So this is my final fit. Uh <laughs> Why is it doing this? Hold on. Okay. We're gonna have to like find a way for this to stay, but this is my final outfit. I'm obsessed with these <laughs> carpenter pants. Yeah. And then this this vest is really cool. Um, I don't know. If, like I think maybe it would look better on a larger body. What do you think? I think it's nice. It's just like the proportions are like not the best because you need a hoodie to bounce it out it's because like you're True. wearing like a long sleeve you know instead and i love that yeah the way it like swoops in the back is pretty cool and then of course my favorite scarf yeah great fall outfit yeah really really cool good tones mm -hmm. the pants are Just like the like greatest beanie? yeah do you have a beanie a beanie, a beanie? Have... do i have a beanie a beanie no i don't yeah. okay okay <laughs> well yeah maybe you try on the vest so I'm letting Karen try on the vest to see if it's just that whether or not it looks better on like a bigger frame. No, I find this almost makes it feminine a bit. Okay. What do you think? I think. I don't know. Yeah, nice. even the proportions on your shoulders, I don't love them. Yeah, I think it's nicer on, on a woman's frame, honestly. But whether it's a need for me, I'm not sure. Yeah. So this is the vintage shirt that we found. I like it because it's kind of like a mock neck. It's like a very thick collar and it's super soft and like good little single stitch moment. It's nice. Oh, and this hat. I forgot about this hat. Yeah, the hat's really cool. It's really, really cool. Very unique. It's pretty distressed and stuff, and like the way it falls is like, I don't know. It's dope. I like it. 
love the pants. Oh no, these are my pants. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, they do look familiar. So what happened with the other pants? Um, none of the pants really fit. The OG 107s, I think the first ones are better and the rest of them are kind of like, they just didn't work out. Um, but yeah, sizing, very important. But those one, those ones are definitely the ones. I was like, are we gonna talk about the elephant in the room? But there's yours. <laughs> So we just finished shopping, we found super nice stuff and we figured we'd combine that with like a haul closet tour video. S 1600 likes and you guys get the collective haul and her closet tour. Wait, why, is, why specifically 1600? Because a little Uzi. Okay. <laughs> and um, yeah, basically that was the first time I went to the new Palmo Goods Vintage store because they were at a different location before and honestly I was like concerned that they wouldn't be able to like replicate their cozy vibe but like wow it's so nice the over the top it's crazy nice every detail is so on brand like the construction is amazing the store smells amazing has a good looks flow amazing. too yeah good flow so if you're doing any vintage shopping in Montreal, that's by far the best vintage shopping yeah. experience. Anyone that asks me for recommendations of vintage shops, like I normally, I had a list, but like just go to that one. That's the best one. Yeah. Guaranteed. Um, like anywhere around Mount Royal is good, but that one is by far like the best uh, curated, the yeah. best. They wash all the clothes prior. Like everything just smells everything and looks smells great. Everything smells like Palo Santo. It's amazing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We love Palmo. <laughs> And um, just to wrap up the video, I'm going to have like a context clip at the beginning freeing all of this, but Chiron15 is the discount code. Get 15% off of your whole order until February, end of February. So take advantage, 15% off. And yeah, all the rules and regulations will be in the description. We love you guys. Thank you guys for watching once again. If you want another one, like the video, comment, sub. 1600. 1600. It has to be 1600. Ciao.